Hugh Murphy, you came from Dublin. I did. To I Westport. Did. I did. I uh, came down in 1964, the year I was married. I worked for a company called, John, uh, called, called Ernie Chocolates. And uh, I worked with them for six years until 1969, when I was headhunted by John Hind. And I jumped ship and joined John Hind. A very famous man and company. Yes, John Hind. yes. A photographic company, yeah. And I worked with them for 33 years until 2002 when I retired. And you, con you were continuously with them then? I, I was with him for 33 years non-stop. Yeah. And what was your, was your job with him? I was a salesman yeah, in no. charge of the west of Ireland. And um, uh, from the tip of Mallon Head down to the tip of Kerry and uh, places in between. And you sold? Uh, postcards, calendars, uh, all the printed uh, stuff that they produced. In those days they had a factory in Cabantili, a sizeable uh, factory in Cabantili and printed all sorts of stuff for all over the world, but uh, principally, principally uh, high quality postcards and calendars and um, they produced promotional literature as well. I, I must have, photo I must have uh, produced uh, postcards for every hotel of note in the west of Ireland at some stage. And who took the photographs? Oh, well, it started off, John Hind himself was the photographer when I joined them in 1969 and he had two other photographers and uh, in 1972 then he sold the company to Waterford Glass and the head photographer then was a man called David Noble and um, the, the, the uh, business carried on just as before but John Hind himself uh, retired off to, to paint for the remainder of his life. Where did John Hind come from? John Hind himself was, was English, although his, his mother, I think, was Irish. And uh, he, he, was, uh, uh, he was a photographer during the war for the British uh, War Office. And he photographed bomb sites and all that sort of thing. But in, in about 1947, I think, he started uh, colour photography seriously and produced uh, postcards for... Um, uh, companies like Butlins. He photographed all the Butlins holiday camps, including Mosney here in Ireland. And then he, he um, uh, prior to that, he had come to Ireland with a circus, and uh, he, he was a he was promotions manager for, I think it was Bertram Mills Circus. And then he started up his own circus, but he went broke in in yeah in 1947. Uh, I think I think the sheriff distrained his goods <laughs> in, in, in uh, Ballyshannon and uh, subsequent to that then he, he started uh, producing postcards uh, on, a, on a, an industrial scale and it went from uh, strength to strength and he was, he was so far ahead of the field in, in the technical end of photography and reproduction that he virtually had no opposition for 25 years, 30 years, and uh, even today his, the, the, the product is still outstanding. Were they, did he do black and white initially or were there always colour? No, always colour, always colour. Did he enhance the colours himself? He, he, he did, he did. It was well known uh, that he enhanced and, and um, he, might have, he might have manufactured uh, situations like, uh, for instance, uh, a picture of Ashley Falls in Connemara uh, would have uh, rhododendrons in the foreground uh, to frame the picture. Now, he, he didn't carry those rhododendrons in the car, but he would have cut them up the hill a bit and mm. brought them down and stuck them in the ground in a particular place. I even did that myself because I subsequently did a bit of photography. And there, there's one of my photographs with, uh, take it up. That's very good. <laughs> with, with, the, with the rhododendrons in it. Did you fill it in yourself? You did. Uh, did I? You filled in the rhododendron. Oh, no, 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 no. They were, they were there in such abundance that you, you didn't oh, have yeah. to. But um, he, would you ever take photographs for him now? Uh, oh, yes, yes. Mm. Like I, I produced uh, that po postcards. Uh, I, I did about uh, perhaps uh, 15 or 20. That he used. Uh, that he used. That yes, he used yeah. the viewers, yeah. And uh, I was never paid for most of them. Mm. They were only part of, part of a, a hobby I had. 
And do you know how he en- he enhanced the photograph? Did he paint it in, or did he? No, no. Was it edited had, in? Uh, he had um, a company in Italy which used to do the color separations, and um, they there, there were so many. I think it's pixels they're called Pixel. d- d- dots per square inch, such such, and uh, th- these could be removed and replaced with uh, if if the if there was a dark cloud in the sky, they could remove the dark out of it and and, and put white pixels in. To brighten the whole thing, or perhaps remove the cloud altogether and give you a Mediterranean. That was prior to digi- digital photographing. You know? yeah, it was. Well, it was. Well. It was. And uh, did you know him personally? Yeah? I did. Mm. I did. I worked with him for three years, uh, from 1969 to 1972. Mm. And um, he was a bit. Uh, he was a, a very kind person. Uh, he was very good to his workers, mm. and he gave us all this this fantastic. Uh, pension scheme that uh, when, when Waterford Glass eventually took us over, mm. uh, they, they examined the pension scheme that John Hind had given and, and they were astounded. Anyhow, I'm still benefiting from it. <laughs> so he was a good businessman as well, he was? He, he was a, a very good businessman. He was a Quaker, I think, and uh, or perhaps a Christian scientist. But he was uh, he lived a very frugal life himself, apart from the Rolls Royce and the big house out in Bullock Harbour. and. Uh, but he didn't drink and he didn't smoke, and uh, he he wouldn't come for a drink at Christmas with us. But he would give us each uh, a little envelope containing twenty five pounds in it to buy around for him, <laughs> which was good money that time. It was, it was, yes. So you enjoyed your stay with John Hind. I did, and if I had another thirty three years, I would work for them nonstop. No, that's one of his most famous photographs. Everybody has seen that. This, well, it is in Ireland. What's the story behind that? The story behind that is that uh, the picture on the bottom is the is the actual uh, picture that he took, and the picture on top is the picture after it was enhanced, and you can see quite a difference there um, between them. This is probably the postcard for which he is best known in Ireland. But uh, he produced cards for all over the world, from South Africa to South America to North America. Uh, they're contained, many of them contained in this book. And who produced that book? Um, the, the company produced it as, as, a, uh, as a publicity uh, handout at the time that we, uh, the management changed over. And how long ago? That, that was what year? 72, was it? No, no, that was, that was 72 is when he sold out to Waterford. Okay, Canada. right. Yeah. This was about, about 19... Uh, 85. And what other ones are in there? I've got other ones in there yeah, that there are, are of interest. There, yeah. there are other, other pictures there that uh, uh, when he started some of the work that he did for the, for the, for the British War Office. So that's before he came to Ireland then? It is. It is. Okay. Um, that and um, To move on to when he started uh, seriously producing postcards. Do they have a self portrait in that? Uh, just this one, just. Um, this is now the beginning of the postcards in Ireland, which um, an awful lot of them, they look very dated now. But at the, t- at the time that they were taken, they were, <laughs> they were the, uh, the best available. Um, everything from kissing the Blarney Stone to. Um, there, there is another example of the same picture. Same picture, there. That was the photograph. That was it when it was, when it was finished. He loved the colour red. Uh, if you were in it and you had a green sweater on you, uh, by the time it would come out of the laboratory, uh, your sweater would be red. Well, it's eye catching, uh, isn't it? Yeah, it is. There is a, a, an opposition picture of Mulroy Bay and Donegal, yeah. and there's the John Hind one to show you the difference in, in uh, the colour and in the technique. Do you think he put in? Oh, he, he, uh, he, he moved. Put he the moved. flowers in, did he? Oh, he did. Yes, yes. <laughs> he moved those. Um, there is a picture taken on Aran Island, and this this man here, uh, when the photographer uh, called David Noble took that picture, uh, it took him a, a day to set up the, the whole thing, but he ha- he said the man has to wear an Aran sweater, but there wasn't an Aran sweater to be had on, on Aran. So they eventually found one, uh, but it had a hole in it. <laughs> that, that's the same, same jumper uh, there. Um, that became very famous, that picture. 
That's Donny, Donny Gold there in the hinge. Uh, there's a picture of Dublin Airport as it was. But you know, you know the curved building at Dublin Airport. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's it there. That's the original, more or less. Isn't it? That's the original. That's the okay. original. It was. It that building was was designed by Garrett Fitzgerald's brother. Oh, okay. Yeah. Now there's Kim Bay in 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 Achill. You're familiar with that picture. Yeah. Um, and the little Austin. The little Austin. Yeah. That picture there of Dublin Airport, and you can see uh, the the petrol truck there <laughs> has a, a blank logo on it. And it, w it was Esso, and the company asked Esso for a contribution towards the photographic costs, uh, and they refused to do it, so we blotted out the word Esso. So <laughs> <we didn't. laughs> now, there's a picture of the four courts in Dublin, and uh, strangely that it, the four courts should, should have been the garrison that my father was in in 1916. He was attached to the four courts garrison. And uh, that picture... Uh, in actual fact, is is a composite of four different pictures taken, one superimposed on the other, mm. until they got the colour right. And uh, the, so the, he was meticulous, was he? He all oh, meticulous, meticulous. He would he would he would uh, refuse to print if the picture wasn't just as he wanted it. Um, that that cottage there is down near Roundstone. Uh, it, it's gone now, but I I do remember it myself. I remember pulling up at it and looking at it. Um, there's Donegal here in Ardra, um, the donkey, which uh, <laughs> Board Falsha actually wanted us to stop producing pictures of the donkey and the Connemara pony and the red-headed kids because they said they didn't want that image of Ireland um, abroad. But they had it completely wrong because that's the image that the tourist wanted. Mm. And uh, they eventually came round to, to agree with, with John Hind. But they, what they wanted was skyscrapers and, and um, modern buildings. Jet modern planes. Buildings. Jet planes, exactly. That, oh, there, there is John Hind himself now on... Okay, have you got that? Yep. That's John Hind on, on safari in Africa. So he took photographs out there too, he did? Oh, he did, yeah. There's some of them in, in this here. <coughs> but in, 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 he would come back after being on safari and he would, uh, at the Christmas dinner, he would bore us to death with a <laughs> two-hour speech <laughs> about it. Um, there are just other pictures of Kerry. Uh, nothing extra. There's a picture of Skerries, County Dublin. And in the background is... What, Red, Red Island. Island. Red Island. I worked there. Did you? I worked did there. I did. Well, it's, the, it's no Long more. Long to Longo. Yes, yes. Fergie Quinn. Yeah? It's, yeah, it's not there anymore because we. I went back to Scaries for the first time in 40 years, mm. about two weeks ago, three weeks ago. And, um, well, what they're doing is they knocked it down. Knocked it down. And, and flattened it out. It's, and it's, made a park out of it. It's a park, yeah. yeah. And, it's, and it's beautiful, mm. yes, yeah. It was more beautiful then. Yeah. <laughs> now, there, there, there is a picture of uh, limbo dancers in... in uh, <laughs> can you get that? I got it, yeah. Yeah, limbo dancers in, in uh, Jamaica or somewhere. Um, so you travelled a bit? Oh, I travelled a lot, a lot. Um, Looks like Mount Fuji. So there's Africa. Mount Fuji, is it? No, uh, no, not Mount Fuji. No, no. No, uh, well, no, no. It's Africa, is it? It's Africa, yes. No, okay, yes. Yeah. It's Nigeria. Mm. Nigeria. And um, there's uh, that Longleaf uh, where the, the um, lions are. Um, I'm trying to read these upside down. Uh, I think that's Las Vegas in the early days. Um, that's, that, Ni that's Nigeria. Was that a free book at the time? This? Yeah. Uh, we produced 15,000 of it. Yeah. And we gave out about about 500 of them. And <laughs> there were 14,500 of them left in the factory. <laughs> they were eventually dumped. Oh, it was a great pity because... Uh, uh, I could have I could have turned a few shillings on them if I got them. Mm, they're great photographs, aren't they? Oh, they're marvellous, marvellous. Uh, that is um, uh, just a continuation of, of then then a lot of his his Butlins work. That, th there are pictures of Butlins in the various uh, holiday resorts in in the UK, f uh, stretching from um, Scotland right down to Devon and Cornwall. Um, that was the that was the real the the, the foundation stone of his uh, shall we say uh, postcard empire. Uh, going to Butlins. Going to Butlins, yes, yeah. And after that, then he uh, he blossomed internationally, as you can see. 
but uh, the bo- the Butland ones are particularly boring, but they they sold in the various camps that they were. Mm-hmm. So let me see what, that, what then this is. That's that's the last one. Um, it's a great collection, really, isn't it? But it is quite a collection. Look, dancing at Mosny. Did you ever dance in Mosny? <laughs> no, I danced in Red Island. I <laughs> did. <laughs> well, that, that's uh, more or less uh, the, the story of that, that book. And but when did he die then? He, he died uh, sometime around uh, the year 2000. In Ireland? He, no, no, he, in he, France. He, he emigrated, did he? Yeah, he did. He did. He 